A list on the guest list, actress Anne Hathaway and Pippa Middleton lead the glamour at the evening reception after Lady Gabriella Windsor's stunning royal wedding. Lady Gabriella tied a knot in a lavish royal wedding yesterday with A-list guests such as actress Anne Hathaway and Pippa Middleton attending the glamorous reception which followed, continuing late into the evening. Photos outside of the couple's royal reception revealed the Windsor's star-studded guest list as Princess Diaries actress Anne Hathaway turned up for a taste of a real royal wedding. The Hollywood star, 36, was spotted arriving at Lady Gabriella Windsor's reception at Tartan Victoria, London on Saturday evening following the ceremony which took place at St George's Chapel in Windsor. Hathaway fended off the evening chill in a black cape, but there was a glimpse of a glamorous yellow dress. Pippa Middleton, who had earlier wound guests in a floral blue high-neck frock, changed into a stunning pink lace gown for the evening due, accessorizing with a leopard print clutch handbag. The bride married 40-year-old financier Thomas Kingston and the celebrations continued after the official photos were taken on the steps of the church. Photos inside the party show Lady Gabriella pictured cutting her wedding cake, which was an extravagant affair, with eight deers and a sword to cut it. Instagram posts also show how she took the Queen's hand for a one-to-one -one and also chatted with Pippa Middleton. Videos shared also revealed how the bride went against tradition, making an emotional speech to her royal and famous guests about her wedding day and marriage. Photos also showed how the venue, which was partly a mark, was decorated with pink lights and disco balls and small trees. Wedding cake maker Fiona Cairns shared a picture of the newlyweds cutting her cake which was made of three different flavors, including fruit cake, Victoria sponge and lemon limoncello sponge. She wrote, The beautiful bride Lady Gabriella Windsor and her husband Mr. Tom Kingston cutting their Fiona Cairns wedding cake at Frogmore House yesterday. We were so honored to make this royal wedding cake and be part of such a special day. In her speech the bride said, Thank you so much for making all of this possible both at beautiful St. George's Chapel and here at Frogmore, a place so filled with charm and history throughout the house and its enchanted gardens. It is particularly meaningful to me as my grandparents, who I never had a chance to meet, are buried here. The beaming bride had her long veil arranged by the designer on the steps of the chapel. The bridal party, of six bridesmaids and three page boys, entered the 15th century chapel moments before. Lady Gabriella wore a Russian fringe style tiara also worn by her grandmother, Princess Marina, Duchess of Kent, and her mother, Princess Michael of Kent, for their wedding days. Lady Gabriella's hair was styled in elegant curls, with a long veil designed in a similar fashion to the dress. Embroidered with flowers and embellishments, layers of blush colored tulle and organdy created the body of the wedding gown under the lace, fanning out for a long train. Known as Ella, the bride had a creamy ivory Ella rose in her bouquet alongside myrtle, a tradition in many royal bridal flower arrangements. The bridesmaids and page boys wore outfits by the same designer. Isabella and Maud Windsor, Lady Gabriella's nieces, and the other bridesmaids wore cream dresses with blush underlays and sashes, with flower rings in their hair in a similar style to the bouquet. Maud, the eldest daughter of Lord Frederick Windsor and Sophie Winkleman, was part of the bridal party at Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Fink's wedding in October. Page boys wore cream shirts and knickerbockers. Guests were ferried in vintage buses close to the chapel and then walked down the hill to take their seats for the ceremony in the 15th century venue from noon. Julian Fellows, who is well known as creator of TV period drama Downton Abbey, was also among the first to arrive as he walked alongside two female guests. The society event was a parade of hats, dresses and men in mourning suits as everyone waited for the ceremony in the chapel to begin. Lady Gabriella is the Queen's first cousin once removed, and the 52nd in line to the throne. It was the third royal wedding at St. George's Chapel in less than a year after the star-studded nuptials of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex last May and Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Fink in October. Buckingham Palace had said the monarch would be joined by members of the royal family but they were not revealed in advance. Buckingham Palace later released details about the wedding service, with the hymns sung by the congregation including Tell Out My Soul, Be Thou My Vision, and Love Divine, 
all loves excelling. The readings were taken from Ecclesiastes 3, Philippians 4, a passage from Shakespeare's Love's Labor's Lost, and Oh Tell Me the Truth About Love, by W. H. Auden. They were read by Joanne O'Connolly, Emma Murray, Ems Winkleman and Sarah St. George. The bride and groom chose Paul Thomas to design the flower arrangements for the service.